welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing some DIY lash extension clusters. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So these are by this brand right here. Let me go ahead and open it so you guys can see better. So these are by this brand right there. And I did get two different kinds. I got a C mix and it is number zero six. And on the back it says um, number nine N. So I think the number is actually zero six because that's at the bottom. So I will be linking these down in the description box below if you guys want to check these out. So that is the first set that I got, which are really pretty. These look really my style. So I'll probably, I don't know, they're both really pretty. So that's the first one. And then this is the second one. And these are a C mix and they are number two is what it says on the back. So that's what they look like. And I'm gonna show you what they look like up close right now. Okay, so that's what the first ones look like. And they go from eight millimeters to, I believe that's 16. Yeah, so it has eight. 10, 12, 14, and 16 millimeters. And on this one, it has 16, eight to 16. So it's eight, 10, 10, 12, 12, 14, 14, 14, 16, 16, 16. And that's what those look like. So that's from the side on these ones. I'm not sure which ones I want to apply. And then this is on the side of these ones, what they look like. Decisions, decisions. And then they also sent me this right here, which is the applicator. They have like some regular tweezers, which are beautiful. I love the rose gold. They came with a little spoolie to brush out your lashes. And then these are the applicators that it came with to apply them. These are the best. Like I love these. I do like to clean up my brows um, when applying lashes just to make my whole face look good. So I will use both. And then they also sent me their adhesive and it is a Lash Bond and Seal Mini Mascara Wand, which is my favorite way to apply them is the Mini um, Micro Mascara Wand. So this is step one, which is the bond, and then the seal just makes it to where it's not sticky. I've never actually seen one shape like that before. And then this is the seal right there. So it's just clear. It's almost like a gel, and it just makes them so they don't stick together. So let's go ahead and get right into this and start applying. I think I'm gonna do these because they are wispy, and I love a wispy, wispy lash. These, you can tell, will give a lot of length. Um, they're both really, really pretty, but they do have a lot of different options. Um, just check out their site and pick what's right for you. But let's go ahead and start applying these. So I'm going to start off by putting step one, and it tells you step one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Let's lower you down so you guys can see really well what I'm doing. So I like to apply from the outside and then work my way in. And I can tell it's already getting sticky, so it's going to be a really good lash glue. So that's what I do. Some of my lashes are like super long because I've been using a lash growth serum. So some of them kind of get a little crazy. I'm going to start off with the biggest, which is the 16, because I really do like a long lash. It has 12 rolls, rows of lashes, which is really nice. So they'll last a while. So let's go ahead and apply this one. I just look down. Here. 
just like that. And I'm gonna wait till that piece of glue dries before I go and get that. I'm gonna put another 16. Again. Place it like that. And then I'm going to do a 14. Just like that. This is some really good glue. I'm going to do another 14. That one's a little too low, so it's easy to fix. Like that. And then I'm going to do a 12. Is this one? And then I'm going to do an eight instead of a ten. They also have a ten that I did not use. So that is what it looks like. Super, super cute. Let me go ahead and get this glue off. Just like that. And then once it's, once you have them on, you just want to take the tweezers. I'm going to just press them down. Oh, this is really good. Just like that. And right there. Just make sure they are really on there. to get some glue right there so I'm going to remove that glue. So look how stinking pretty those are. I'm so happy I went with these. And then as you can see how it's a little sticky, you'll take part two and then you'll just kind of push it at the base of these lashes. As you can see they are not sticky anymore. They look so pretty. So this is before and this is after. The difference that it makes is insane. That's a close up. And then I'm gonna show you from the side what it looks like. So that's from the side. It's on top. And this is like dead on. And then as you can see, that is what they look like from on top. You can just kind of brush them out. Super pretty. So let me go ahead and apply this eye off camera and I'll show you what the end results look like. Okay, so this is how they turned out. Look how stinking pretty these are. These are like so nice. I absolutely love these. Like I said, I will be linking them down in the description box below if you guys want to check these out. The lashes feel really light. They don't feel heavy or anything. The glue was really, really good. I can compare it to like the Clayless or the... um the Lynx lash glue just really really good sticky right from the beginning like it got sticky pretty quick and they like have a really nice hold as you can see that's what they look like they are just so pretty and I love how like dark they are at the base it really brings out your eyes and just makes them look like just super super beautiful but yeah that completes this video thank you so much for watching bye god bless